there's another set of ideas to deal with global warming. Um, it, apart from removing carbon dioxide, which we put in the atmosphere, how, do we, how does it happen? How do we do it? Well, this is, you know, the subject of, of, a, of a good deal of, of, of study, but uh, the idea here, and it's um, often referred to as solar geoengineering or, you know, potentially as solar radiation management, a little bit more soothing way to put it, um, is that we would, I think, you know, sort of the general consensus, as it were, to the sense that there is a consensus, is you'd need a, a fleet of specialized aircraft and they would, that were capable of carrying big payloads into the stratosphere, because you have to get these reflective particles into the stratosphere, otherwise they will simply, you know, drop out too quickly. Um, and then on stratospheric sort of winds, they're, they're sort of blown around, around the world and you could create uh, this, you know, artificial volcanoes basically by dumping a lot of uh, sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere from aircraft. So, so what kind of particles would be sprayed up there? Well, I was reporting a book. I, I spent a bunch of time with um, scientists at, at Harvard who, who runs something called the Harvard Solar Geoengineering Research Program. And, you know, they were looking at it, this is, you know, a research project to look at what po the possibilities are and what the possible, you know, downsides are, uh, to say, to put it mildly. Um, and they were looking at, you know, the, the compound that volcanoes use, as it were, is sulfur dioxide. So that's one sort of obvious um, possibility. But sulfur dioxide has a lot of problems, causes acid rain, uh, could potentially contribute to the depletion of the ozone layer. Um, so they were also looking at uh, calcium carbonate, which is just basically limestone, you know, limestone dust. Uh, and one of the scientists mentioned to me, well, maybe a good particle to use would be uh, tiny little ground up diamonds, you know, industrial diamonds, which struck me as a really interesting idea. <laughs> Lucy in the sky, yeah. Uh huh, and, and expensive. Well, uh, so if, if this happened, if you got, say, you know, calcium carbonate, the limestone dust, and you got enough planes and you got enough stuff up there, what, what would we experience? What would it look? What would it feel like? There are, you know, many, many, many potential uh, effects of, you know, putting up a reflective haze. Uh, you know, some of, some of which we've seen, obviously, through volcanic eruptions, but one of the potential side effects of doing this on a massive scale is you would change the appearance of the sky. Not a happy thought. I mean, you know, another issue here, of course, is that when you spray all these particles up there, um, you're not dealing with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I mean, maybe you are at the same, same time, but that itself doesn't affect it, and the particles do eventually fall to earth so you have to keep doing it right well one of the you know and once again i mean i i, I think i quote a bunch of scientists who are you know very very strongly opposed to this idea and some one of them calls it you know a broad highway to hell and one of the problems i mean precisely the problem precisely the issue the reason why you would contemplate something like this is because once you put carbon dioxide into the atmosphere it lasts a long time and it continues to warm the earth for a long time so it's very difficult to do something about climate change quickly that's a very i think important point and that is what is motivating this research if you reach a climate that you say we don't like this climate, we need to do something quickly. It's not enough to cut emissions at that point. It's not enough to cut emissions to zero. That simply means that the problem isn't getting worse. It's not making the problem better. So if you get to a point where, you know, you say the world simply cannot, uh, you know, support temperatures like this, you have very, very few options. And this is one of the very few options that people have come up with. Now, it has tremendous, you know, perils associated with it, one of which is that you are committing future generations to continue to do this. Otherwise, if you were to suddenly stop. Um, so these are projects that are either, you know, already exist or are very much going to happen. They're on the books, they're in the, in the design phase. At the end, to the 
grandest example that's been proposed so far, at least, which is you know dimming the sun to make up for the effects, intervening to counter uh, the effects of our own intervention.